Mm -hmm. Hey, Alex. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? Great. I'm just, How are you? I'm good. I was going to take a second to call you in so our members can hear about the, the new FemCare report. Sounds great. Happy to talk about it. So tell us a bit about um, about the report that's coming out. So here at Women's Voices for the Earth, we've been working on getting toxic chemicals out of the household products that we use every day. So we started working on cosmetics um, and makeup. We moved on to cleaning products and looking at the chemicals in those products. And now we're diving into feminine care products. And we're doing this for several reasons. Feminine care products, um, this is things like tampons and pads, douche, uh, feminine wipes, feminine wash, that kind of thing. One of the interesting things about tampons and pads is that they're not regulated as cosmetics, but they're regulated as medical devices by the Food and Drug Administration. This means that there are loopholes, like you don't have to disclose the ingredients that are um, used in these products, the ingredients or the additives, yet we know that some of these um, chemicals are affecting women's health and that they're reacting to, to these products when they use them. A lot of these products have the same kind of chemicals we're seeing in cosmetics, some of the scary things, some of the allergens, but we're using them on such a sensitive part of our bodies. This is a part of our bodies that's really absorptive. I mean, toxic chemicals can get into our bodies much easier through these products than through other parts of our skin. So we're really concerned about the impact to women's health from that. One other concern we have is that from the limited data that we've seen, it appears that women of color, particularly black women and Latina women, use some of these products in greater numbers than white women do. So there's a disproportionate impact on these women of color who are using these, these uh, products more often. And we're really concerned about the impact of the chemicals in these products. The other reason we're doing this is because no one wants to talk about these products. I mean, you just don't talk about these in polite company. A lot of women don't even want to talk about their use of these products with their doctors. And because no one's talking about it, no one's really watching very closely. No one's watching the store. And we think these products deserve a great deal more attention and a great deal more oversight to make sure that the chemicals used in them are actually appropriate for women's health. So we'll be launching this report on November 6th. So over the next 10 days, we'll be doing a whole lot of work, getting all the pieces together to get ready to really kick off this campaign. And we could really use your support. Um, this is work that is really unique to our organization. No one else is talking about this important issue, and we are diving in and getting to the bottom of it. So we could use your report. If you can go online and make a donation to Women's Voices for the Earth today, that would be great. And we really look forward to kicking off this campaign and, and making a splash. Alex, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us about the report. We're super excited. You're so welcome. It's great to talk about it. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.